hello in today's video i'll show you how to move all the negative numbers in an array to the left of the array that is to the beginning part of the array so let's say this is our input we have an array with some values which are both positive and negative numbers so our required output is all the negative values should be at the beginning of the array so you can see i have arranged all the negative values at the beginning of the array and then i have put the positive number followed by the negative numbers so this is the required output also note that the order in which these values are present does not matter that is this can be shuffled among themselves all we need is all the negative numbers at the beginning of the array and the positive number towards the end of the array so let's move to the logic so in this case i am going to use two variables i and j i we will be using to traverse through the array and j will be initially zero that is it will be pointing to the element at zeroth location and i'll tell you how i'm going to use this j so these are the index 0 1 2 3 so these are the index values so initially j will be 0 and i will be used to traverse the array so let's write the for loop which we'll use for i to traverse the array it will be int i equal to 0 i less than array dot length and then i plus plus so this is the for loop which we'll be using to traverse the array so now what i'm going to do is j i'll be declaring at 0 so j will be pointing to the zeroth element so j will be pointing over here okay so next step what we are going to do is if i find a negative value in ith location so i is also here initially i is also 0 i equal to 0 i is also here j is also here now i'm going to check if the value present at i is negative or not okay if it is negative i'm going to swap the value with j's value okay let me explain now we'll check if value at ith location is negative if value present at i is less than zero if it is less than zero we'll do a certain step i'll show you now since it is one and it is a positive number we'll move to the next index okay we won't be doing anything and this for loop it will get incremented we'll come to the next value now what i'm going to do is i'm again going to check if it is less than zero that is if it is negative so now we see that we found minus two minus two is a negative number so what i'm going to do is i'm going to swap the value present at ith index with the value present at jth index so I'm going to swap minus 2 and 1. So if I swap, this will become minus 2 and this will become 1. So our new array will look something like this. Minus 2, comma, 1. Okay, I swapped these two values. Now this is the result. And after swapping, I'm going to do J++. So this is the swap. When I find the value at ith location to be negative i'm going to swap and then i'm going to increment j so j plus plus will move j from here to this location now again this loop will run we'll check again if arr of i is less than zero i has incremented i is now here now we'll check if this value is negative this is not negative so we we'll move to the next location now here we have found a negative value which is minus 4. Now I am going to swap the value present at ith index with the value present at jth index. What is present in jth index? It is 1. So I am going to swap 1 with minus 4. So this will be 1. This will be minus 4. So let me modify this array. So this 1 was replaced with minus 4. This will become minus 4. We have a 3 over here. And 
we have swapped this and this so here it will be one okay so this way this will keep on moving so now i'll move to the next location now i find minus five j was here we did a j plus plus now we are going to swap minus five with three so if we continue this all the negative values will move to the beginning of the array so now let's discuss one more small detail over here let's say we have an array with values say minus one minus two three four five something like that so initially we will be pointing our j to the zeroth index and i will also be pointing to the same index so when we find the value present at i to be negative when we find it is a negative we are going to do a swap so in this case if you swap the value present at i and the value present at j it will make no sense right because i and j are pointing to the same location so we are basically swapping minus one with minus one so this step need not be done so here before swapping i'm going to check one more condition i will say if i and j are not equal then only i'm going to swap so whenever i and j are pointing to the same location i need not swap so i'm going to put one more condition over here let's write the program properly i am declaring a variable temp here because i am going to use this temp to swap the two values i hope you know how to swap two values i have a separate video for that you can check that out now this for loop now we are going to check if the value present at i is less than 0 if it is less than 0 that is if it is negative we are going to check if i and j are not equal if they are not equal we are going to swap the values present in ith location and jth location for that i hope you remember the code this may let me just write it down over here we will use a temporary variable to store the value present at ith location now since the value present at ith location is safe in temp we will be modifying it with the value present at jth location now since we moved the jth location's value to ith location we can now put the value of i in j we have kept it safe in temp so this is the code to swap so after swapping remember i told you to increment j so we'll do j plus plus we'll finish this if we'll finish the for so after we are done with this loop we'll be having an array with all the positive numbers to the end of the array and all the negative towards the beginning of the array that is the required output so let me just print the array so i have a video in which i have shown how to print an array without a for loop so this is how it is we'll use arrays dot to string and we'll send the array as input for arrays to work we have to import java dot util dot arrays so if you have learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you